Story RH, the podcast that makes a long story short. Welcome to all. History is made of stories. In this episode, we'll be talking about how HRIS can help manage risk in HR. From financial risks, just think of payroll for example, to legal and non-compliance risks. Not to mention all of the potential human consequences of any mistakes made, HR departments have to be prepared to manage a wide range of risks. And more and more these days, legal and compliance obligations are increasingly complex and urgent. Particularly if your company is based in several different countries, norms are growing stricter too. So, given this context, how can HRIS help us to manage risks? What's the story? Risk management starts with the quality of the information we have access to, how we interpret it, and the decisions that are made as a result. Let's take workplace safety risks as an example. To manage them, we must first have an in-depth understanding of real working conditions, workplace accidents, their causes, frequency, seriousness, and more. The starting point is often information management, an area where an HRIS is key. But even beyond this key role in managing information, an HRIS also plays a role in managing other risks for HR departments. First, the level of control over processes that it enables, and in particular the automation that it relies on, naturally reduce the risk of human error. Digitalizing processes helps manage risk in two ways. First, by automating a certain number of actions, thereby reducing human intervention, but also by standardizing processes. Once the standard is set, it helps to ensure quality of deliverables long-term. And this long-term approach also contributes to better risk management. An HRIS helps HR departments to manage risks by ensuring quality management of HR processes. Another potential source of improved risk management is artificial intelligence, which is a form of automation. For example, automatic payroll audits to reduce the risk of mistakes, or alerts that invite an expert to take a closer look at an unusual situation. An HRIS made up of high-performance applications provides a whole arsenal of features that enable users to work better, which once again reduces the level risk associated with their jobs, indicators, alerts, guided processes, etc. Last but not least, thanks to this digitalization of processes you mentioned, a HRIS can also document, track and log management actions and even integrate third-party auditing for optimal security, which also contributes to better overall risk management. It's a tool for better managing your own work, which also identifies and targets areas for improvement, and which can, if needed, prepare elements for third-party review to prevent things from getting messy creating too much exposure. To recap, HRIS helps HR departments to manage risks in three ways. One, by providing the foundational information for HR. Two, by automating tasks to limit human risks and errors. And three, by documenting and logging management actions to optimize security. Is that right? Exactly right. Way to make a long story short. Story RH, the podcast that makes a long story short.